Hey guys, Matt here from mksmarthouse.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to send alerts to your LED strip. As you may recall in my first video on the channel, I demonstrated that when I opened the door, the LED strip changed color. Well since then I have made some changes. What happens now is that when I open the door, the LED strip changes to a color and then after 5 seconds changes back to the previous state the LED strip was in. The previous state of the LED strip could either be a color or off. Let me give you a scenario. I'm sitting at my desk with noise cancelling headphones on working as fast as I can to get the next MK Smart House video finished. Then out of nowhere I hear, what are you up to? I jump and almost get a heart attack. What happened was someone entered the house and snuck up on me. This scary situation could be avoided and let me explain how. So I'm still at my desk working hard and then someone opens the door downstairs. The LED strip behind my monitors turns red and stays like that for 5 seconds and then goes back to the previous state. Now I expect this person and will not be surprised. The best part is you can set up this alert system for any rule. Since we have established a practical scenario, let me show you how to set it up. The items needed to complete this guide are the following. One, a computer running either Mac or Windows. I will not be making a separate guide for each because we are just going to be using it for SSH. Two, a fully set up LED strip control, which I have a complete guide for on my channel. Three, a fully set up door sensor. I have a guide for this as well. The links to all the parts and guides mentioned are in the video description. Speaking of links in the description, follow at MK Smart House on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat because those are the places where I give sneak peeks on when videos are releasing and also where I ask for your input on topics and future videos. The first thing we have to do is SSH into the Pi. So on Windows, use PuTTY and on Mac, use Terminal. I recommend having my website open so that way you can just copy and paste commands, link is in the description. Next we are going to choose which LED strip or strips to send the alert to. To find out we are going to look at the items file so type in sudo nano slash etc slash openf2 slash items slash home.items and press enter. In the file scroll down to your LED strip controls and choose which LED strip or strips you want to use. They will be the color item type. I'm going to be using both MK LED strip control 1 color and MK LED strip control 2 color. For some of the rules I'm going to use one LED strip and some I will use two. Once you've figured out which ones you are going to use, write them down and press control X. Next we are going to modify the rules file. So type in sudo nano slash etc slash openup2 slash rules slash home dot rules and press enter. The first thing we have to do is import the map variable types. So type in import.java.util.map and press enter. The second thing we have to do is create variables to hold the current states of the LED strips. So underneath the import statement, type in var map hsv value temp1 equals null. Make the same amount of variables as you do LED strips. Since I have two, I'm going to make two variables. If you remember in the door sensor software videos, we made rules for the door sensor that when the security system switches on, then it will send a notification to your phone. Well, we're going to be putting a small piece of code before the check for the security system switch. So type in this big code block on the screen before the if statement and press enter. If you named your LED strip differently than mine in the items file, then change everywhere you see MK LED strip control one color with the item name of your LED strip. Let me explain what this does. First, it initializes the temp value with the current state of the LED strip. Then it sends a command to the LED strip with the new color to alert with. I have set mine to red. If you want to change the color then go to colorizer.org and in the hsv slash hsv section play around with the sliders to the color you want. Once you chose the color replace the three numbers in your rules file with the numbers colorizer provided you in the right column. Finally after 5 seconds the LED strip puts the LED strip back into its previous state. If you want to make the alert color time shorter or longer, then change the 5 to a number you would like. On this next door sensor, I want both LED strips to get the alert. So I'm going to type in this big code block on the screen or on my website. 
and press enter. As you can see, to add another LED strip to the rule, I simply added another variable initialization, send command with the color, and then a send command with the previous state. That is it for the rules file. Press Ctrl X, then Y, and enter. Awesome, we are now done with the software. Let's test it out. First, I'm going to test out the side door. And as you can see, when I open the side door, the LED strip turns blue for five seconds and then goes back to its previous color. Next up is the front door. When I open it, both the LED strips behind my monitor turns red, as well as the LED strip that is supposed to be behind my cubes, but I have not done it yet. Finally, that concludes this complete guide to getting alerts through the LED strip. In the description, you will find links to all the parts and devices used in the video, as well as link to mksmarthouse.com shop, where I have a wide range of smart home kits that you can put together, such as blinds, LED strips, sprinkler systems, and door sensors. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or head over to mksmarthouse.com forum. Goodbye.